Dutch horticultural companies are known for their high standards of expertise. Green farming partners help local horticultural businesses to grow and to meet international demands of quality, efficiency and sustainability. One example of a unique project can be found in Navasha, Kenya. Here we have a state-of-the-art solar-powered greenhouse. Due to the global increase in energy costs, horticultural businesses have a growing need for an affordable, reliable and self-supporting energy supply. Green farming companies provide technological solutions. Solar energy is a very good option. Solar energy is cheaper in the long run. It is of constant quality, always available and sustainable. Let's see what they are up to at Rose Breeder Ole's solar-powered greenhouse. Here, Dutch technical partners demonstrate a cost-effective way of using solar energy as a sustainable solution for the East African horticulture. Let's explore how the solar-powered greenhouse works in practice. These panels collect the African sun's heat and convert it into electrical power. The sun's heat is also caught in these water collectors. During the day, warm water is stored in the heat storage tank from where it flows into the greenhouse's heating system during nighttime. If more solar energy is generated, then it can be stored in the battery pack. Special feature of this battery pack is its 100% recyclability. Electricity can be transformed into heat by an electric boiler. This heat can also be stored for later use. Solar energy delivers both heat and electricity to run the farm. The grower is therefore self-supporting and independent from the country's grid. It is expected that Ole will save up to 40% on energy costs. Heating the greenhouse during nighttime has a positive effect on production results, as it reduces plant diseases such as mildew. State-of-the-art technology is used to collect all data from inside and outside the greenhouse. Special software feeds the energy management program with local weather predictions to ensure optimal energy generation and consumption planning. Software and data collection give the grower access to actual data about his crop, climate, water and energy management, which also lead to cost savings and a shorter return on investment. The solar-powered greenhouse in Navasha is also used for demonstrating new technology and for sharing knowledge with local partners. Monitoring the project is very important in order to learn more about the installation and the benefits. The first results for the solar-powered greenhouse solution in Kenya are very positive. This project is a good example of how Dutch horticultural technology can be both financially interesting and also contribute to a more sustainable world. A huge success realized with local partners.